Hi, I'm Christoph from retainwithemails.com and today we're going to talk about open rate. I've just read this article and I, this is a snippet from it. The average email open rate was 21.5% between 2021 and 2022, so very recently. And I think you can get that numbers way up for yourself and this is my numbers to back it up. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can achieve some similar results with the method that I'm going to mention right after this. So 72%, 69%, 65%, around these numbers, you're going to be able to achieve these once you're done with this video. So if you can even get to 40 compared to 20, you're going to double your open rate and therefore email revenue. So it's very simple and I'm going to go over how you can do that for yourself right now. So this is an email I already designed and we're going to import it inside of Klaviyo and optimize it for a maximum open rate. So you're going to get your slice tool by pressing S and you're going to slice the first bit of the email. So you can go ahead and do just the logo, but to make it faster, I'm going to take the two logo and headline. Then we're going to take the product image call to action then I'm going to show you a nice little trick for the te uh, the text bit because you can in fact get some HTML text block and the image uh, at the background not many people know this but I'm going to show you how to do this for yourself and it's a nice in between if you don't want to make your emails 100% image based and you want to add some text inside of there for deliverability purposes and this is gonna get you open rights like the one I show you before so okay now you have your slices we're actually gonna go ahead and export them you're gonna click your slices slice 2 export it slide 3 export it and do the same for the two uh, following ones now you're gonna go to this website compressor.io and what it's gonna do is reduce the size of your images so that is going to make them load faster and you have a higher likelihood of ending up in the primer inbox. So drop all of your slices here. And as you can see, it saves a considerable amount of spaces and make your email way lighter. So download the new version and go to Klaviyo. We're going to select the drag and drop editor and a basic template basically. So we're gonna let it load, basic, and select the, the first campaign template that comes here. So I went ahead and deleted everything off of the template. We don't need any of it. We just need our images. So drag and drop them and do the same for every single one of the remaining ones. Slice number three. Right now we're into Figma and I'm going to show you how to export this part of the email, the text block, without sacrificing the design. So you're going to have the same background, but in Klaviyo it will be a text block and it will optimize the deliverability accordingly. So you're going to slice uh, the background, take the slice, select it, and then export it. Click export. So here we are. We're going to actually add a section. So wherever your text block is supposed to be, then select the section and add an image as a background. Now you drop the background and here you go. As you see, it makes the design seamless and the transition uh, pretty smooth. So now you add a text block inside of that section and then here you would copy and paste uh, your copy. So select the text and here you can edit it. So you would add uh, your copy here, center it as you would uh, in a normal uh, text block. You can even change the color right here because you can't really see it. So here you go. You can change the font, etc. Once we have that, we're going to add some alt text. So you're going to select every single image and add some uh, filler. It's basically for Gmail, Outlook, and other inbox uh, provider to recognize what's inside of your email because they can't read images. 
So here you're gonna make uh, your deep work, just restate basically what's on the image and it's gonna give you more likelihood of ending up in the primary tab. So your deep work and then add something. Here you might uh, name your product. Here you might say CTA or not, don't put it CTA because your uh, recipients actually can read it. Put enhance my focus and do the same for uh, the last one. Come up with something. Then uh, link your product to whatever page you want them to be redirected. So CTA might go to the product page or checkout page for that matter. Now, this bit depends on your existing deliverability right now. If you have poor deliverability, you're gonna want to resize the size of every single image that you have in your email and make it go, right now it's 1,200 pixel wide. You might want to scale that down to let's say 800 or even 600. 600 is the lowest that I would go. But yeah, if you, are, you have a problem with your open rate right now, you are gonna to wanna to scale it down and see basically at what point you get the best results and scale it up from there. So you're gonna click edit, then resize and change the, the, the width while respecting the aspect ratio. So this is what you're gonna do. And yes, it's gonna make the image a little bit more blurry, but you're gonna increase your open right and your revenue along with it. So you have to find that middle ground of getting a nice brand perception and at the same time making as much money as possible. And this is how you get your design optimized to land in the primary inbox. Now, obviously you would have to test it. You click preview, send test. And here you add an inbox to test the email. You verify it looks good on mobile, on desktop, that all the links are working and you're primed to launch with a high open rate. Thank you for listening and see you in the next one.